Hey Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Aquarius. So if you're an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Aquarius, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid, roads can get reversed, so take how it resonates. take these they just came out randomly for some of you you are ignoring this person here or this person ignored you in the past and things now that things seem pretty over between the both of you either because you're ignoring this person or you are just um, you know like because this person was ignoring you you just let it go or you let this person go now that it seems almost over this person is reflecting back on everything that happened between the both of you and how good this connection was how everything was so um perfect and for some of you this person is trying to manifest look at that jeez the magician and the lovers you could be dealing with a gemini virgo fixed sign star scorpio leo aquarius or a capricorn here Lovers and the devil, this was a very, very intense connection here. And this person is now reflecting back upon everything that has happened and trying to manifest you here. Now I'm confused. I wasn't, I wasn't going to take that, but the message was very direct. So I just said it. Now I'm trying to understand if I should take these cards or not. Okay, let's, let's just keep it because the message is pretty direct, so. This person really, really keeps thinking about you. What is happening with the cards here? Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands. This talks about communication. Someone feels very, very overwhelmed whenever they think about communicating to you, talking to you. You know, this is this is for some of you. This person is like they are so nervous that the way they the way they want to approach you, not exactly want to approach you. This person is so nervous that. They, they think or they feel like they should approach you just like in a light-hearted kind of an energy. Just to talk to you, just do a little bit like a very flirtatious kind of energy with the Eight of Wands and Knight of Wands. It's very possible some of you things have, things moved pretty fast in this connection because we did see the lovers and the devils. This was a very intense connection. Could have been intense chemistry, intense uh, sexual tension between the both of you here. That's the reason why things could have moved pretty fast, even though you both were not prepared. But there was codependency issues or the or this connection was... It's, it's like this connection can be something uh, more than lust or something more than... Um, Playful energy can happen here. Something serious can happen here. But that's all it was in the past. Like it was a very playful, lighthearted, could be very lustful kind of an energy between the both of you here. For some of you, you might have been so attracted to this person that you could have missed certain red flags about this person here. There's a lot of attraction. Okay. 
to try to come out five of wands here mm. could be dealing with an aries someone wants to take back control of the situation for some of it's very possible this person either uh, they they themselves were very uh, coming from, um, there was something very toxic definitely uh, in this person or in this connection here. This person themselves could have been controlling or they had a lot of ego. There was some ego issue with this person as well. Yeah, some ego issue this person had because of which there was a lot of conflict between the both of you. For some of you, this person was too money focused, you know. Eight of Pentacles is like... Like, this is what I'm getting. Could have been a hot and cold kind of energy with this person. You know, like whenever this person had time, they would. Mm, okay, this is what I'm getting. Whenever this person had time, they were always busy. They were always working. And if you sort of, uh, you know, wanted time with this person, if you wanted to be with this person, or if you asked something from this person, this person would get triggered. You know, they would get triggered. It would hurt their ego. You don't they would think that you don't trust them and for the others of you i'm also getting uh, take the take what resonates right so for some of you it's very possible this person was always busy busy always very focused on work always very focused on their money or uh, like this person had a very controlling um father figure in their life this person they could be uh, boss themselves so they were very like they have their own business and everything entrepreneur so they have their own thing and everything and this person would always be busy and always be invested in that and whenever they had time that's when they would come towards you and so for some of you it's very possible it would just end up become you know like whenever they need you they would come towards you whenever they need the desires to be met they would come towards you and the other times this person would give no explanation as to what like um what they want what is happening here it's like you wouldn't get through to this person they will meet you when they need you that's the kind of thing here with this person that's the reason it's very possible there was a lot of um conflict arguments disagreements drama between the both of you here because well that's not fair right for some of you this person could be someone um yeah there's something about this person wanting to be single like they just prefer to be single or they just want to be single or they just you know the kind of a loner kind of a person here and the reason this person is loner is because uh, they have been hurt in the past that's the reason why this person might not have even though they felt a very strong connection with you they might not have wanted something more than that and the reason they would be hot and cold is because if they stayed with you long enough, this person was, um, they would get scared that they are going to fall in love or they are going to get hurt again. Or, um, you know, like their work life is going to be affected if they give too much time to their personal life, if they give too much time to you. That's the kind of thing you're picking up from that emperor here. So for some of you, this person does want to let go of that conflict. Mm. 
and take back control of the situation because in hindsight whenever they think about it they it's or i don't know who this person is but this is someone uh, they are very money oriented kind of a person or they're very practical kind of a person here because they literally write they see you uh, um, or they feel that you are a good investment or you were a good investment and they should have never let you go cut that the lovers again and this person for some of you they could have you know lied to you about oh i'm busy but they were not really busy they just didn't want to get involved with you emotionally they just wanted to keep the physical aspect alive queen of wands Justice at the bottom of the deck, Death, High Priestess, Three Major Arcanas. Could be dealing with the Libra, Scorpio, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Yeah, someone wants to balance the scales between the both of you here. Because intuitively, this person is picking up that you're moving on from them, you're letting this go. You're not going to keep um, some of you. This was don't get triggered. This is what I'm getting. If it's not, it's not resonating with you. Don't take it. But this person literally could have treated you like a booty call, you know. But here's the thing that it's like. You know, if you were sexually very intimate with this person here, then they just uh, miss that insane sort of chemistry or sexual whatever that was between the both of you here. This person could intuitively, can intuitively pick up that you are moving on from them or you are just leaving them behind and they don't want you to leave them behind. And they know, this person knows exactly what they have to do to make things right between the both of you here. But see, there's a still, with the Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands here, there's still a lot of passion with this person here. They still are very, very, this person, for some of you, could be very sexually frustrated right now, that they're not getting what they usually get from you or used to getting from you. Also, Emperor and Justice. This is Aries and Libra counterparts to each other. But yeah, this is someone. This is someone who wants to balance the scales. Yes, there's still pas passion. There's still that need to be intimate with you. It's still there. But um, this person is. Although we. We, yeah, we did see the devil, right? So they are obsessed with you because they don't have you right now or they can't have you right now or they feel like they cannot have you anymore. Like you are uh, getting out, you are slipping away. Page of Pentacles, Pages of Messengers. What the heck? Hmm. This is a very strategic person you are dealing with. Very strategic person. You know, like almost too strategic. As I said, they look they look at you as a good investment. How a person should be looking at another person. Mm, something is off here about this person. It's very possible this person is, you know, like they're not really the emotional kind and they are, they just make very, it's like they treat everything like it's, 
business it's a business deal you know like it, yeah that's the thing it's like this person treats everything like it's a business deal and you know like if it's a business deal you need to make profit that that sort of a thing here if it's a deal you need you cannot make a deal and lose right you cannot be at a loss make huge losses after making a business deal so that, that's the thing with this person here it's like too too strategic here too hard or and cold kind of a person very cold calculative kind of a person here This person might not be interested in someone else, but the reason they're interested in you is that. So, yeah. you are a good investment because you are the catch you are the entire package look at that emperor and the empress this is a very hard cold calculative person you're dealing with and i'm not saying that this person doesn't love you but or they don't have feelings for you i'm not going to say they love you they have feelings for you they miss you but they're still like they're very calculative very strategic very um orthodox for some of you for some of you it's like rigid a lot of rigidity with this person here it's like nine of swords the bottom of the deck yeah they are losing their mind thinking that you were the entire package and you would have been a worthy investment this is the, this is the wordings i'm getting worthy investment so that's what I'm getting. Don't get triggered. You are a worthy investment. They should not be letting go or they should not have let go. You are a worthy investment. Some of you could be acting very cold and detached from this person. This could very well be your energy. And you are you have set boundaries with this person here. Or you are very cold right now. You know, like whatever cold, hard energy they were in, very rigid, detached. You are like reflecting, like you are acting like a mirror and mirroring back that energy here. Which is making this person think of you as a worthy investment or a worthy opponent. This is just weird energy. You want balance? of pentacles ace of pentacles you want uh you want someone who can offer you this ace of pentacles this ace of pentacles is the cornerstone to the ten of pentacles so that's like uh stability future marriage someone who can offer you that someone who's going to collaborate with you someone who is not going to bring unnecessary imbalance in your life someone who's not going to juggle you and someone who's not going to be a stress for you This person sees you as someone, I don't know like whether you are as practical as this person here, but this person thinks they see you as someone who's very, very practical. Like, like look, look at the cards here. It's a very practical kind of cards, pentacles. So you'll be dealing with an odd sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But yeah. 
This person sees you as someone who's looking for balance. You're looking for a stable offer. You're looking to collaborate and have a stable offer and not deal with a relationship connection that is just overwhelming, overburdening and stressful. That's all. If you can't give me this Ace of Pentacles, stay away from me. If you can't collaborate with me, stay away from me. If you're bringing imbalance in my life, if you're juggling me, if you cannot prioritize me, then stay away from me. For some of you know how important money is for, for this person. You just know it. This could be a powerful person you're dealing with, someone who is a public figure or is in a, yeah, that sort of a thing, public figure. They have a lot of responsibilities, whether it's of the company, whether it's a responsibility for the public or family responsibility. Three of Pentacles was at the bottom of the deck, right? Yeah. Your guards are up, as I said, with the King of Swords. Your guards are up. You have been wounded. You are defensive when it comes to this person. You might not trust them completely as well. Yeah. Like, um, Hierophant and the Tower. You see things clearly about this person here. I don't think you don't know everything about this person. You don't know everything about or uh, they were doing or if they're lying to you or whatever they were up to you i don't think you don't know about that you got that ten of pentacles For some of you, again, this is what I'm getting here. You could have been married to this person, Emperor, Empress. And this person, um, they did not give you the proper treatment you deserved. Um, or they just married you for all the wrong reasons. And because we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. And you have realized that. You have realized that. That this person is not who they seem to be. Or you fell in love with the wrong person. Or you married the wrong person here. Some of you could be arranged marriage. Oh my God, that's so, take it if it resonates. And you now want to break free from this person because you realize you deserve more than that. You deserve better than that. And this person is realizing they should have never let you go. You could already be in some sort of legal battle uh, with this person here. Your cards are up when it comes to this person. You feel like this person was playing you or they were not really honest or truthful here. And you don't want to keep investing in this relationship. Like, waste your time anymore. Yes, some of you definitely, you were married to this person. Seven of Swords. You already saw the Five of Swords once. This person is going to lose. For some of you, this person feels like, yeah, see, they do have feelings. But they are emotionally, it's not enough. Love is not enough in this case because this is an emotionally manipulative person you are dealing with. 
and this person is not ready to uh, let you go but honestly it doesn't matter if they want to let you go or not because i feel like you already know this person is like will they will try to do something to get your attention or try to get back in your life some way or other but this is a manipulative person and their actions are going to be manipulative and the only reason is because they don't want to suffer any kind of monetary loss or they think that you are a worthy investment so they don't want to let you go okay I know I lied to you repeatedly, but my love for you was and always will be true. So see, this was definitely a liar. You're dealing with. I'm not saying this person isn't loyal to you, but honestly, they are more loyal to themselves or their work or their money than they are to you. The loyalty stands with themselves first. Could be a very selfish person you're dealing with. I know just saying I'm sorry won't be enough this time, but I do want to apologize. I'm so embarrassed of my foolish actions. Let me make it up to you. Yeah. It's like they don't want to let you go. that i'm completely loyal to you i'm not interested in anyone else i do not love you i love the idea of you this person loves the idea of you both being together i'm not over you and cannot move on i have family issues yeah this person definitely has family issues here some of you okay but this person is very like they their loyalty is to themselves first than to anyone else all right well that's your reading aquarius i hope you found some clarity through this reading i'll see you guys in the next reading until then take care guys bye bye